These are seven Lego Star Wars minifigures you should not invest in. Number seven. 332nd Clone Trooper. The 332nd Clone Trooper is exclusive to the 2020 Armored Assault Tank. Just in six months, this clone minifigure has doubled in price to over $20. However, right now, the 332nd Clone Trooper's price is slipping aggressively. <laughs> And it's likely to only continue. That is because a brand new Star Wars battle pack is releasing, which contains four 332nd clone troopers. Once this battle pack is released, the new, much cheaper 332nd minifigures will flood the market, making the older version irrelevant. Why are we still here? The 2020 332nd Trooper is worth roughly 20 USD. Over the coming months, I could definitely see this minifigure dropping in price into 15 to 10 dollars. It is definitely possible that the price could rebound in the long term since it doesn't have helmet holes, unlike the new version. Number 6. Bo Katan. On paper, Bo Katan should have made a ton of money since it was exclusive to the Mandalorian Starfighter, but Lego just had to release Bo Katan in a foil pack. As you can imagine, the price of Bo Katan nosedived. Also, on August 1st, Lego is re releasing another version of Bo Katan in the Spider Tank, which has arm printing unlike the original. This version of Bo Katan is a Ticking time bomb. Number five, phase two Captain Rex. The phase two Rex minifigure is exclusive to the 2013 Bark Speeder with Sidecar. This version of Captain Rex is so valuable, it's probably worth more than my soul. That price being $215. However, the Rex minifigure is standing on the edge of a cliff about to fall. That is because it has been reported that a new phase two Captain Rex is coming in the UCS Venator. When the UCS Venator comes out, expect the 2013 Captain Rex to free fall in price, since an updated, cheaper alternate version of Rex will be available. This version of Captain Rex could drop in price by $50 to $75 very soon. Number four, Hunter. The Hunter minifigure was exclusive to the Bad Batch Attack Shuttle. However, later, LEGO included the Hunter minifigure in the incredibly overpriced Justifier. Don't get me wrong, Hunter is an incredible minifigure. The issue is that collectors are not going to buy multiples of Hunter, unlike most other clones, since he's not a figure you can build an army with because he's a singular character. Also, the Bad Bass show, which he comes from, isn't that relevant. Irrelevant! As of now, Hunter is selling between eight and ten dollars. Number three, two twelfth clone trooper. Originally, the two twelfth trooper was exclusive to the ATTE. However, since then, Lego has released the two twelfth trooper in a foil pack and in the upcoming advent calendar. I would also not be surprised if Lego made a two twelfth clone battle pack soon. The supply of the two twelfth trooper is so high. I bet there's a few under your bed right now. Hello there. Just imagine the supply when LEGO releases a 212th battle pack. On top of this sandwich of terribleness, the helmet is inaccurate to the source material, making a portion of the LEGO Star Wars community to be furious. The one upside about this minifig is that there is a ton of buying pressure since people are hoarding the 212th trooper for army building. However, the abundant supply and threat of a 212th battle pack makes it a figure that you should not invest in right now. Number two, Omega. This minifigure is exclusive to the Justifier. However, that is soon changing since Omega will be coming in the 2023 advent 
event calendar. This minifigure's price is crashing harder than the 2008 housing crisis. Not too long ago, the Omega minifigure was selling for as high as $30. Now the price of this minifigure has fallen by 50% to $15. Thanks to the advent calendar, I could see this minifigure dropping in price by even more. Number one, Boba Fett. On surface level, this minifigure looks like it should be an incredible investment since it has arm and leg printing. However, the same Boba Fett minifigure comes in three different sets, one of which is a micro fighter. Except in the micro fighter, it does not come with this helmet thingy. But the thing that is going to drop the already low price of this Boba Fett minifigure into the Sarlacc pit is the soon to be releasing Boba Fett mech, which comes with an incredible new Boba Fett minifigure, which people can get for a very affordable price. If you would like a palette cleanser of Lego Star Wars sets that have actually made a lot of money, then check out this video about seven Lego Star Wars sets that have gone up in price by 10 times.